Hello class. This is the second video in this introductory module of 9300. The other video, uh, if you've not watched it, talks about the class and how it's organized and what your assignments are. This video talks more about the instructional technology and distance education program. This is one that orients you to what the field is, who we are, and the kinds of things that you should know early on in your doctoral career. As a matter of fact, I'd like to talk about, let's see, six things. I'd like to talk about the program, uh, the faculty, uh, the curriculum, the courses that you'll be taking and, and might want to consider taking if they're electives, uh, students in the program, who, you're, who preceded you, what the profile of our students are in the, in the years that we've had the program. We'll talk a little bit about the dissertations and, and realizing that this whole course reflects an interest in helping you with your dissertation. And then a little bit about the field that you'll be entering. Uh, because instructional technology and instructional technology and distance education are a growing field and you're all going to be seeking employment in that field uh, when you, if you're not already, when you complete your degree. Well, let's talk about the program. First started in 1996. Uh, it was a doctoral program and then a master's program was added. Uh, since the program was started, what, almost 20 years ago, 18 years ago, we've had about 500 graduates and to my knowledge there's not a single person who's graduated who doesn't have a professional position. Now that's a good thing. A lot of them had professional positions before they started, but it is a long-standing program. Uh, we like to consider ourselves the tip of the spear, um, the 300, and there's about 300 students in the program right now. Uh, yeah, that may be a little pretentious, presumptuous also of us, but that's what we like to talk about ourselves. And there is a website uh, that has a lot of information. It's not the generic website, but a specific web microsite for ITDE. And you'll be shared, I'll share that with you so you can go there, because there's a lot of information that uh, is peculiar to and of interest to those of us in the Instructional Technology Program. A lot of student work is located there. The faculty, well, there's three of us, myself, Mike Simonson, uh, uh, Charles Slosser, Charlie Slosser, and Anna Oriana. Collectively about 70 years in the field. Some of us have had a little more of that than others, but you have a good cross-section of faculty who are uh, very aware of the growth and breadth of instructional technology and distance education, have had a variety of experiences. You can look at our bios and our resumes. Uh, to find out uh, what we've done in the past and get an inkling about what we'll do in the future. Um, we all participate in publishing, the, the, the three-legged stool, if you would, of higher education faculty teaching research and scholarship and service through outreach. And, and so I think you've got a, a group of faculty who will be able to familiarize you with what our field's all about. The curriculum, well, you're required to take five core courses and then three additional courses from the group of electives. And I, I think we have uh, 13 courses, including this one, 12 others. Um, it's my, our recommendation, my recommendation, that you take as many, if not all, of those classes as you possibly can. Actually, since you're preparing yourself to be a instructional technology specialist, distance education leader, uh, you want in college, uh, in your doctoral program, to have as many experiences related to that field as you possibly can, since most of you probably don't have a bachelor's degree, you probably don't have any, uh, and so only some of you have master's degrees in related areas. You want to get as many skills as you can in the graduate program so you don't have to worry so much about on-the-job training. Uh, uh, some people have asked me about equipment. What do you need? Well, um, you need a computer, obviously. Uh, we are a Windows primary organization, although we do a lot with Macintosh. I suggest you have direct access, if not ownership, of both platforms. Um, we use Microsoft Office almost exclusively, and uh, you'll, you'll need a web camera, a digital still camera, a digital video camera. If you don't purchase them, you need access to them. This is more than just your, your smartphone. Um, microphones, headsets. Uh, there's a lot of free software that we will emphasize, like Audacity, which is an audio recording, Windows uh, Movie Maker, which is a video editing package. So you don't, won't need to purchase a lot of esoteric software. 
but you need to have a pretty powerful computer and uh, have direct access to it, if not singular access, at least it's the, you're, you're the primary user for that. Um, let's talk about the students. You can learn a lot about the students by joining their Facebook group. Faculty are not allowed to join, but there is a Facebook group for instructional technology and distance education. I think there are more than a hundred members, if that's the right word, for that Facebook group. Um, and there, there you can share ideas with your fellow ITD ears. Um, also, the Dissertation Cafe has a lot of information. If you're not familiar with the Dissertation Cafe in Blackboard, you'll learn more about it in this class. But that's where we put a lot of information about dissertations, about research, about what we do, and about what uh, you might be, uh, you want to know about the program and about your student uh, colleagues. Um, we have, uh, as I say, about 300 students. Generally, our students come from the public schools, schools, K-12 schools, higher education. Um, many of them go back into the same institution, the same location where they started, but a lot of your classmates are looking to move into other fields, related fields. And where do people go? Well, they go into back into the institution where they came from. They move up the ladder in terms of the position they hold, but a lot go into consulting, a lot go work for government, a lot move into higher education, and, and you find a real um, transition as opportunities uh, become available. People start to think about, well, what they might be doing instead of what they are doing now. Uh, especially if you're not geographically bound, there are many opportunities in our field for locations. How about the dissertation? Well, once again, the dissertation cafe is something that you'll, you'll want to uh, take a look at. Our dissertations are generally on par with those from our peer institutions, the Florida States, the Georgias, the Indianas of the world. And you'll find that as you uh, make contact with people in similar programs at some of our peer institutions, you'll find that the kinds of classes you're taking, the kinds of skills you're gaining, and the kinds of uh, research that you're doing are very similar okay. to what they're doing also. Right. What about the field? Well, there's a strong job, job market for our field right now. There are many opportunities for okay. positions. Right. I get an unsolicited call maybe once a week saying, do you have anyone who is looking for a position and I almost always have to say no because everyone has positions but we also uh, try to pass that on to people that might be looking to change their position or move so so the job market is growing um, and, and that's evidenced by the the whole growth of the online education movement there are a lot of people who think they are online education experts but very few have a background such as the background you're going to be having in instructional technology and distance education um, the uh, Professional associations are something that uh, we're going to emphasize. AECT, Association for Educational Communications and Technology, You're purchasing books from them. That's probably the premier and, and most long-lived, long-lived uh, professional association in our field. They have an excellent set of resources available, and they have an excellent uh, opportunity for graduate students to join at a very reduced, significantly reduced uh, rate. The other is the United States Distance Learning Association, um, which is probably the other parent organization for those of us in the field of instructional technology and distance education. Uh, you, you will uh, find that, that those two organizations are ones that we're going to be gravitating towards. And probably as you move from your existing uh, professional uh, insights about yourself, who you think you are professionally, to this new person, this transition into this ITDE specialist as you complete your doctoral program, those are two organizations you're going to want to learn about, um, a lot more about. So let me summarize. Um, the ITD program is longstanding in, in education in the United States in general and in the Fischler School and at Nova Southeastern, approaching 20 years now. We've had 500 some graduates of the program, uh, all with, as much as we know anyway, professional positions in the field. Your faculty are experienced and we're going to stick with you. We're going to work with you on your dissertation. We are on every dissertation committee. Um, the curriculum uh, you, is directly related to the kinds of skills you're going to need when you graduate. Your classmates will be one of your best resources. 
um, and there are a, a, a number of opportunities, even though this is an online program, uh, for you to become acquainted with and work with and collaborate with other students and graduates for that matter. Your dissertations will be on par with what uh, people in other peer institutions are doing. And the field is a field that we're optimistic about in terms of its growth and in terms of your chance to become a active participant of, of that uh, aspect of the field. Uh, one last thing that I want to make sure I stress is on your dissertation committees, one of us will be on your committee. If not, when your committee is assigned, you don't have a Simonson, an Oriana, or a Slosser as either chair or a member, then you need to request that one of us are so that we can work with you and get to know you all better. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're glad that you are uh, a part of our program and your program, and we will all get to know each other a lot better as this course unfolds and as your program unfolds. So, welcome.